Hi, Free Escapes. This is Lainey and this is Mackenzie. I will be teaching a vinyasa flow class today and Matt will be demonstrating. So go ahead and grab um, some support for your hamstrings if you have blocks or um, you could grab some books about this high and bring them close to your mat. Um, and go ahead and come to a comfortable seat, bringing the palms to the inner thighs. And we'll rock back and forth, getting a little space. Just shifting back and forth, draw the belly in. Ooh. And come to your center, feel your sits bones. Draw the navel in, draw the front ribs in. Take a big breath, lift, lift, lift the spine. And then inhale, lift the shoulders up towards the ears and roll them back, opening the heart. And then close the eyes and come to the breath. And just notice if you're holding any tension in the jaw, relaxing the jaw, softening the center of the forehead. And we'll take a cleansing breath here. Big breath in, fill it up. Blow it out. Let's do that one more time. Big breath in, fill it up. And blow it out. And complete your next exhale all the way out. Feel the belly come in and slowly inhaling for one, two, Three, exhale, three, two, one, belly in, inhale for one, two, three, one more, exhale, four, three, two, one, doing this two more times on your own, filling the rib cage, bringing yourself into the present moment, just letting everything else go. Let's do that two more times. And set your intention for your practice today, what you'd like to cultivate energy towards. And take a deep, deep inhale, draw it into the center of the heart. And exhale below. And then opening the eyes and cross the legs in front of you and slowly make your way to the top of your mat. <laughs> and lift all ten toes, spread them wide, wiggle the toes, find them, settle them back down again, and then soften the knees and get some buoyancy in your stance. And take the thumbs to the low back, lengthen it down, lift up on the front of the pelvis, draw the front ribs in. Take another full breath here, big inhale. Exhale all the way out, and then pressing down into the feet. Take a big inhale and sweep the arms up towards the sky. Pause here. Draw the belly in, draw the front ribs in. Big inhale, lift, lift up the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, extend the heart forward. Front ribs in, belly in. Exhale, fold again, and soften the knees a little bit here, and take your elbows. So bend the knees a little, Mac, and take your elbows. And let the spine get really, really long. Anchor the belly, lengthen the heart down towards the floor. Three deep breaths here. One more big inhale. Exhale all the way out, and then release the hands down to the floor, and go ahead and walk them over to the right side. And take another big inhale, lift the belly, exhale, fold, then slide it through, going over to the other side, inhale, lengthen, <laughs> exhale, fold, and then palms to the shins, inhale, extend forward, exhale, fold again, and then press into the feet, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky, feel the tips of the fingers, feel the feet, and exhale, swim to your equal standing. Pressing in the feet, inhale, sweep the arms up, front ribs in, reach long, soft shoulders, exhale, forward fold, soft bend in the knees, inhale, extend the spine, <laughs> and exhale, ground the palms and step it back to your high plank and pause. So for this first one, take the knees down and broaden the collarbones forward. Take a big breath in. Feel the tips of the fingers and exhale, slow lower, keeping the elbows close to the body. 
come all the way down. Good. Roll the shoulders back and bring the forearms forward. So elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. Take a big breath in and press up, draw the front ribs in. Exhale, bring the heart through. Again, inhale, press it up and bring the heart through. One more full breath in, exhale, come all the way down, right arm comes out to the elbows above the shoulder, right cheek comes down, inhale, left leg comes up and over. So you're opening that right pec muscle, release your head down, breathing here. Make the space, inhale, exhale, all the way out, roll it through and pause in the center, bring the forehead down to the mat, thread the fingers behind you, modified Shalabhasana, so you're pointing the toes, feet stay down, inhale, lift the chest off of the mat, draw the shoulder blades towards each other, <laughs> feet stay down, feet are down, big inhale, <laughs> exhale, lower, and other side, taking the arm out, left arm out this time, opposite side, and inhale, roll it open, yeah. And it should feel good. Mm -hmm. If you have any pain in your knee, release your knee down. Big breath in, big inhale. Exhale, all the way out, and slowly come back to your center. Let's open the chest one more time. Forehead comes down, thread the fingers behind you. Full inhale, lift the chest off of the mat. Feet stay down. Shoulder blades towards each other. Big breath. And release your fingertips in line with your shoulders now. So take your hands in line with your shoulders. Bring it back. Setting up for high plank. Tuck your toes under. Feel your belly. Feel that space in between the hip points. And lift a high plank. Exhale. Down dog. Pausing here. Bend the right knee in. And then the left. Making your space. Find your breath here. Oh no, it's such a lengthy thing. <laughs> <laughs> and one more big breath in, fill the back body. Exhale all the way out. Gazing forward, bend the knees, step your feet in between the hands. Full breath in, lengthen your spine forward, heart forward. Exhale, fold, lift your belly. Press your feet, inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Take another big inhale with the leg up a little bit higher. Bend the knee and take the toes 
One more big one, lift your spine. Now stretch the hands forward and let the low back get real long. Belly in. And of course, the body knows to move intuitively. So if you feel like you need to move around a little bit in any way, do it. If you want to simplify or amplify in any way, you're welcome to do that too. One more big breath. Exhale all the way. Shifting forward and bring your feet hips distance apart. Pause. Setting up for chair pose. So big breath in. Extend the heart forward. And then exhale, bend your knees, pause here, yes. And just look at your hip knee ratio, bring your hips down in line with your knees, draw your belly in, let your low back get long, take the hands up, a little bit of a curve in the upper back, soft shoulders, let's make arrows with the hands, find that line of energy. Big breath here, holding for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, fold, pause, inhale, extend, pausing here, and then take your hands forward a little bit, broaden your collarbones forward. So setting up for Vakasana, feel the tips of the fingers, bring the collarbones forward, come up onto the toe ball mound, bend the knees, so the knees are going to go into the armpits, the outsides of the arms, or the backs of the arms, shift forward. Feel the tips of the fingers, chin forward. Now push them out of the way, maybe flip the feet. You're gonna feel the front ribs come in. Take a big breath here. And walk, step or float it back to your plank. Yes. Inhale, up dog, open it up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, back heel spins down. Warrior one, big breath in. Find your feet, full inhale, from the arms to the sky. Pause. Shoulders are soft. Front ribs are in. Press your feet, lift your spine on your inhale. Big inhale. Exhale, fold. Palms to the air. Take it back. Slow lower to your hover. Elbows in. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Up dog. Open it up. Find that freedom. Exhale. Downward dog. Last foot steps forward, back heel spins down. Big breath, sweep it up, anchor the belly. Let's find that spine lift. Front ribs in, press the feet. Inhale, lift, lift with the spine, feel the tips of the fingers. Exhale, fold. Take it back. Slow lower. Inhale, up dog, open. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale the knees down to the mat, coming into your puppy pose. Walk it out, walk the hands out, let the heart fall. Forehead to the mat, or chin and to the fingers. So breathing into that horseshoe. Sometimes your chest touches the floor, sometimes it doesn't. Just <laughs> breathing into it, all your bodies are different. Nice breath. And one more big one. Exhale away. And slowly pressing back into your down dog. Press it back. Take another big inhale. Exhale all the way out, gazing forward at the top of the mat. Leaps off your feet to the outsides of your hands. Yes, settle into your prayer squat for a breath here. Lift the spine, lift the heart, let the shoulders drop. Another full breath, find that length and stretch the hands forward. Let the head go, get a little juicy in the hips, but keep that anchor in the low belly. One more big one. Exhale all the way, and then shifting forward and take your feet hips distance apart again. So go ahead and shift forward. We're going to work our way back to that Utkatasana, but we're going to change it up a little. So inhale, extend your spine forward, and then bend the knees. Bend the knees, and let the hips drop, coming in line with the knees. Good. Press into the center of the foot and the heel. Inhale, take it up into your Utkatasana. Not Vakasana. Oh, sorry. <laughs> chair. Chair pose. English term. Now, pausing here, we're going to do halfway. So thread the, your fingers together. Inhale, stretch the chest. It should feel good. Just curve the back. 
stretch it open, exhale, come halfway, press it out here, breathing, so press the hands out, yeah, shoulders are soft, front ribs come in, draw your six ribs towards each other, feel that power for five, four, three, two, exhale, fold, you have a choice. Inhale, extend. You can walk, step, or vakasana back. So if you want to come into your crow here, you can. Pull the front ribs in. Push your mat away if you are. Taking it back. Inhale, up dog, open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, pause. So you're coming up on your back toe ball mound like you would for crescent here. Big breath in, coming up into your crescent. From here, get really solid on your front foot. Look at your big toe, bend into the left knee. Draw the belly in, feel your low back, wiggle it around a little bit, lift the spine, and then take another big inhale, take it up, and then bring your palms forward. So your palms are forward towards the end, up. up. <laughs> Stand. Yay! 
take the feet hips distance apart. Find your feet, spread your toes. Send the sits bones back. Draw them towards each other. Bend, bend, bend. Take the chest to the quads. Inhale, coming into your Utkatasana. Thread the fingers, inhale, stretch the heart. Come halfway and press out, holding for five, four, look down, three, <laughs> two, exhale, fold. Now you have a choice. You can step it back, jump it back, or bakasana back. So taking the hands to the mat and come into your plank. You care about plank or You can float. Float. <laughs> and exhale, downward dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale all the way out. And this time, left foot steps forward. Come up onto the toe on the of the back leg. Settle into your feet first. Anchor your belly. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Front ribs in. Inhale, lift the spine. Bring the palms forward. And bend into your back knee. So you want your low back to be long. Belly in. We're coming down for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, and 1. And come all the way down. We're going to pulse it forward. Pulsing it forward, low back is long, belly in. For five, four. So engage your glute on the right side so the front of your leg can open up. Three, two, one. Now turning it out, opening it up. Lift, lift, lift the spine. Elbows in, pulsing it forward for five, four, three, two, one, bring it back to neutral. Bend the knee, toes up, or have the legs straight. Have your blocks on either side. Big breath in, exhale, fold. Heart towards the toes, energy in the toes. The toes are coming towards your forehead. Gather the belly, take a big inhale, stretch the heart forward, maybe shake your tail feather. And exhale all the way out. Inhale, rising up. Taking the left hand to the outside and the right hand comes over. Big inhale, exhale, fold. Stay with the breath. Using the breath to make the space. Big inhale. Exhale all the way. Inhale, come back to your center. Coming up. Find that steadiness. Belly button in. Low back is long. Sits bones towards each other. Palms to the heart. Inhale, lift. Take another big breath. Take the hands up. And you can have, keep the hands straight up or bring the palms to the heart, shifting forward for warrior three. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Energy in the toes right away. Boom. Level the hips out. Roll the right thigh in. You can keep a soft bend in your standing leg. Stretch the heart forward for five, four, three, <laughs> just two, one. Exhale to stand. Find your feet. Bring the palms to the heart. Close the eyes. We'll take a cleansing breath here. Big inhale. Fill it up. this time. Okay, so shifting your weight onto your right foot. You're going to send the sits bones back. So send it back and draw the sits bones towards each other and bend into that right knee, get some buoyancy. Come up onto the toe ball mound on the left side. Lean the chest forward a little bit. So really think about your front body. Front ribs in. Bring your elbows in with your palms facing. Inhale, lifting, using your hip flexor, lift the left leg up and stretch the heart forward. So you're bringing your chest towards your knee, stretching the heart forward. Take another big breath here. And now you're going to round your spine, draw your belly in, and 
and take the hands out. So like a ninja pose, like Karate Kid. So taking it out, fierce fingers. Take a big breath here. And then you're gonna bring those elbows in and stretch it out into your warrior three. Moving slow and concentrated. Reaching the hands forward. Take a big inhale, stretch it long. Exhale, you're gonna pull it in, round the spine. Chest towards your quad. Take the hands out. Big breath, we're going back. And reaching it back out again. That's five. Energy in the toes, pull it in, round the spine, belly in. That's four. Pull it out, energy in the toes, keep that balance. Three, yes, so strong now. Bring it back out. Energy in the toes of the fingers. Two, pull it in. Great breath. Send it back out. Last one, this one's gonna be a little different. Bring it in, round the spine, pull it in, take the hands out, and this time, you're gonna take the hands straight up, stretch the spine, breathe, lengthen, palms of the heart, shift to the other side, maybe shake it out a little, salsa. <laughs> <laughs> and shift it. Belly in, find your low back, shift it back, stick your butt out. <laughs> Shift it back, sits goes towards each other, elbows in, palms facing, inhale, right leg comes up, front ribs in, think about the front body, so you're coming forward, drawing the chest towards the quad, take a big inhale here, if you're shaking that's good, that means you're building muscle memory, getting stronger, full inhale, round the spine, take the hands straight out, big breath in, and then pull it in and stretch it out to your warrior three. Energy in the fingers, energy in the toes. Level it out as much as you can. Strong belly. Big inhale. And <laughs> exhale. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Front ribs in. Take the arms out. Horizontal. Good. And bring it back in. For four, stretch it back out. Bring it back. Bring it in. You can keep a soft bend in the knee. Round the spine. Really pull the belly in. Good. Chest to the quad. Yes. Hands up. <laughs> and bring it back out again. Bring it in and push it out. Yes. That's two. Big breath. Bring it in. Yes. Yes. And one more. Pull it out. Energy in the fingers, energy in the toes. Yes, pull it in. Pause here. Round the spine, front ribs in. Take the arms out. And pull the elbows in. Fingertips to the sky. Big breath, stretch the belly. Exhale, palms to the heart, and shake it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Full inhale, sweep the arms up. Reach through the fingers, press into the feet. Exhale, forward fold. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, walk, step, or float. Go the fancy back way. <laughs> I'm so fun. Yeah, it's <laughs> And big breath, open the heart. Exhale, down dog. Breathing here. So good. One more big breath. Exhale all the way. I'm trying to think about this. Okay, so step your left foot forward into a lunge. No, I changed that. Okay, take it back. <laughs> right foot forward into a lunge. And then take your hand on the inside. We're going to walk your hands around. No, nope, this side. Oh, sorry. So take it on the inside. Of your hand. Yeah, we're going to come to wide legs. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, and then turn the feet in, turn the feet in a little bit, and take a big breath in and stretch the, <laughs> stretch the heart forward towards the camera. So walk your hands forward. This feels so good. So bend the knees a little. Let's go ahead and bend the knees. And inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, palms to the waist. Inhale, come up. So we're going to do it a little different than the ash, ashtangi. <laughs> and inhale, sweep it up. Stretch the belly. Exhale, forward fold. Now, just walk the hands forward. Just walk them forward like, like, a, a, like a panther. We're walking like a panther. Like, yeah, we're walking. <laughs> and then come forward on your table, girl. And take a big breath in and 
slide your wings back. It's really fun. And then take the top of the head towards the floor, wrist in line with the ankles. Bandas, find your belly. Breathing, three deep breaths here. Your breath sounds awesome. And another big inhale. Exhale all the way. And then inhale, walk the hands forward again. And you're going to bring your feet a little closer together. Bird of paradise prep. So taking the right arm underneath the right leg. And so you're going to take it through and then pivot the thumb up towards the ceiling and bring it around. I'll turn the back way. Or no, you've got it. Okay. And take the hands. Good. And so we're just going to stretch here first. <laughs> So either take the bind, or you can use the strap, or you can use your clothing, and just stretch the shoulder. This is more about the shoulder, getting a little space. Yeah. And take another big breath in. <laughs> and then you're going to start to transfer the weight. Walk your feet a little closer together. Transfer the weight. Of, pause, pause here. Pause. Now, where Mac is pausing, you're going to pull your belly in and get really solid. Exhale all the way, and then slowly start to lift. And you can pause here, get some length in the spine, lift the heart. Now you have the option to extend the leg out. Energy in the toes, and pause. Breathing and lifting the spine. One more big breath. And then keep that anchor in the belly, go slow. Be patient with your movement. Really slow, as slow as you can. Slowly releasing back down. Release your bind. Bring your fingertips to the floor, extend the heart forward. Big breath and then extend. No, reach the hands. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We're going to do that same thing we did. Okay. Inhale, Just reach and stretch. <laughs> <laughs> reach it forward, stretch your heart forward, and exhale. Bring it back, other side. So taking the arm through, pivot the thumb up so you want your shoulder to rotate forward <laughs> and wrap it around. Yeah, take your time with it. Breathe into the stretch a little bit before shifting the weight. And then take your bind and you're gonna shift the weight onto the right foot, come up onto the toe ball mound and pause. Now anchor the belly. Make sure you're thinking positively. <laughs> Makes all the difference. <laughs> and shift the weight and inhale, hover. Yes, and slowly make your way up. And big breath in. Stretch the spine, open the heart. Big breath, find the length. And then pulling the belly button in, always move from the belly button. Slowly make your way down, moving like a ninja with patience. <laughs> and release the hands down to the floor, wiggle around a little. And we're going to come into prayer squat, so inhale, extend the spine, and slowly make your way into your prayer squat, pausing here. Big inhale, lift your spine again. And exhale, release all the way down, taking the legs wide. Yay! <laughs> I would totally give you an adjustment. <laughs> okay, so extending the legs out behind you, so externally rotate. Bring the fingertips forward, going slow, front ribs in, belly in. Inhale, lift your spine, let your shoulders drop. Exhale, come forward. And inhale, stretch your heart, so keep the spine straight and long, and exhale, come forward. And you can use your hands to pull the chest forward and hit into your inner thighs. And one more big breath in. Exhale all the way out. And inhale, slowly walk it back. So we have two options here. I'll do option one. Mac can do option two. So option one, 
is to take your right hand over, left hand on top. Keep letting that left hip release down. Inhale and exhale release. Option two is hand to the hip. Take your right hand to the left hip. Keep the shoulder on the inside. And big breath in. Take the left fingertips up to the sky and over towards your toes. And you can take your hand to your foot. So when you're doing this, you can draw your front ribs in and kind of rotate the heart open a little more, letting that left hip release. Two solid breaths here. Make your space. One more big one. Exhale all the way, anchor the belly. Inhale, rise up. Coming to the other side. So I'll do level one, you do level two. Coming to the other side then. Inhale, exhale, letting that right hip release down. Breathing into it. Make your space. I am adjusting you in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Lower down, apart together, check your low back at this point, 
Heart together. Take a big inhale. Exhale, pull it back up. Yosa! And last one. Apart together. She's doing all the work. Apart together. <laughs> Apart together, lower. Apart together, lower. Apart together, lower. Yes, big inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Yes. Heels to the floor. Go ahead, well, no, go ahead and bend the knees and draw your knees in and rock up. How are you feeling now? Okay. Good. Okay, okay. inhale, lift your chest, lift your spine. One more core. Because we got to fire up that power center right now. <laughs> I guess it's not enough. Yeah. Go ahead and take your hands to your thighs and pull your chest in between your knees. No oh. chest. Yeah, no, no lift your spine up. So you want to get your spine really, really straight. Okay. Really straight. Good. So I'm going to show a couple of different levels. So level one, you're here supporting yourself. Front ribs are in, strong belly, press your sit bones, lift your spine. Okay. The next level is to release and bring the hands straight up. Pause here, lift the heart, breathe. The next level is to take the legs straight. And you can choose, Mac, what feels the best for you. Okay. And lift the heart up and press the sit bones. <laughs> And you can choose for five, four, three, don't hate me, two, <laughs> one, bend your knees and pull it in. So we're doing it a little different. So just get the spine really straight. Take a big inhale, lift your chest, belly, get the spine straight, come back out to your spot. Okay. To your spot for five, four, three, yeah, two, one, pull it in. Yeah, get your spine straight. Last one. Big inhale. Big breath, front ribs in, strong belly, and bring it back up. For five, four, three, two. Big breath, heart lifts, faces up, and <laughs> exhale, pull it back in. Yes, and feet come down to the mat and slowly lower down. And just hug your knees in for a moment and just rock from side to side. And those tilts that we did in the beginning, go ahead and take your heels back down to the mat. Good. And we're going to take the palms flat and puff the chest up. Puff it. Open it up. And then press the spine down and tilt the pelvis upwards. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Tilt. Good. And one more. Big breath. And tilt. And then draw the knees in and rock up and come to table. We're going to get a little more space in the spine. So come on to the knees. So knees are directly underneath the hips. And on the inhale, I want you to melt the belly towards the floor and stretch the heart up. So inhale, melt the belly towards the floor. Well, you're just arching your spine. So arch the spine. Oh, yeah. And exhale, arch it up and pull the belly in. Yay. And inhale, melt. Melt and open. And exhale, arch it up. And inhale, melt and open. And exhale, arch it up. Last one. Inhale, melt and open. Exhale, arch it up. Pause here. Shift into the low back. Shift back. And you're going to roll from side to side. So getting space in the side body. Roll it around. Right hip out. Ribs out. Roll it around. Get your space. And now we're going to come into garland pose. So bringing the palms flat to the mat, you're going to tuck your toes under and your feet together. So shift forward, do you know what that was? Mm -hmm. Good. And then take the knees wide. And then you're going to shift back, pull the belly in, and there's a couple of options for this one. So you can keep your hands extended. If you're about to keep the ball of feet together, you'll turn to turn them out from your heels. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if it feels good, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do here. Or the forearms down, or you can take your hands to your heels and draw your forehead towards your ankle. So either way, it should feel really good. So Mac, one of the things I want you to do here mm -hmm. is to bring your forehead towards your ankles. So bring it to the Yeah, because you want your low back and your neck to be going the same motion. 
motion. Okay. So taking a few breaths here. And one more big breath in. And exhale. We're going to slowly release down onto your sits bones all the way. And then bring the legs forward. Slide the left leg under. Bring the right foot to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, lift your spine. So we're twisting here. Level one, arm comes around. Right hand comes behind you, level two. You can stretch the arm up, pull the belly in, and bring the shoulder on the outside. Just twisting. Make your space, you take the bind if you want. Again, you can always amplify or simplify as needed. Lift the chest and let the right hip release down. So you want to make that space. So make the space between the ribs and the hips. And I'm adjusting you in my mind. <laughs> One more big breath with the heart. And exhale, slowly come to your center. Now you're going to have your knees either directly on top of each other so you have options, either on top of each other, or you can take your right leg in front. If your knees feel like they need support, take blocks or books under your knees. And bring your thumbs to your hips and just rock. Make your space, rock your boat. And then give that right hip a little nudge down and take your left hand out to the left. And then take a big breath in and reach your right hand up and stretch it over. So you're opening the side body. Let the shoulder be soft. You're making space between your hip, between this hip and the rib cage. So you're letting the space open up. You can take your hand to your head for support or extend it down towards the floor. <laughs> but in your case, you're too close to the wall. One more big breath. Put some energy in the fingers. I know you have to, you're really close to the wall, but reach through the fingers and come forward. So bring the fingertips in front of you. Same. In front of you. Yeah, just reach it around. Well, no. Okay. Just do here. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Good. Come back up just for a moment. Feel your sits bones. Take a big breath. Lift, lift, lift. Front ribs in. Big inhale. Switch the breath. So move from an even breath to a four count inhale, five count exhale. Softening the forehead, relaxing the jaw. It's a four to three. Hmm? You say four and three, four inhale, three. Four count inhale, five count five exhale. exhale. So basically extend your exhale a little bit longer. Keep that softness. One more big breath. Exhale all the way. And then inhale, slowly rising up. Take the hands behind you. Stretch your heart open. So bring the hands behind you and stretch your heart. And bring your hands to the floor. And you're going to shift back. And just can-can it to the other side. <laughs> <Yeah, I'm sorry. laughs> and then thread the fingers under the knee. Inhale, lift the spine. We're twisting. Feel the sits bones on the floor, draw the belly in, and lift the whole spine. So use the breath to lift the spine here. And one more big inhale. And exhale, slowly coming back to your center, and you're going to take your left knee on top of the right, or take it out, get some support. Wiggle around, make some space, just let it go. And then give the left hip a nudge down. Right hand comes out to the right. Inhale, take it up, big breath. Exhale, reach it over. Yes. And you can support your head with your hand. Or just extend it over. Just let the shoulder be soft from the air. Should feel good. 
And again, the body's intuitive, so if you need to move around a little bit, if you feel some stuck places, do it. One more big inhale, energy through the fingertips, reach, 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 and then bring it to the front. Yes. Feel the sit bones on the floor, pull the belly in, inhale, lift the spine, exhale, release forward. Let that exhale go, ride it as long as you can. Then come back to the ribcage, expanding outwards with the in-breath and drawing inwards with the out-breath. Extending that exhale a little bit longer. And one more big, big breath. Exhale, ride it all the way out. And then inhale, slowly walk it back, bringing the legs back. Take the hands behind you and bring the feet of scissors apart. Bring the palms facing. Slowly come down onto your back. And just take a moment here. Walk the heels in a little closer to the hands. <laughs> Tilt the pelvis upwards. And let the low back settle on the floor. Take happy baby for a second. So take the outsides of the feet. Walk around. Let everything settle. And then come into Vitruvian Man. So just let it all splay out. So take the or Vitruvian Woman. So go ahead and release your feet. Take it wide. No, all the way down. Oh, the what do you mean? Yeah, you're oh. just laying down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and let the, the, the feet come off of your mat. Just let them come a little wider away from each other. And then let the arms come out a little wider. And roll your shoulders back. Let your palms open. Take a big breath here. Exhale, blow it out. Let's do that two more times. Big, big inhale. Exhale, blow it out. One more. Full breath in. And exhale, releasing all the way. It's so hard not to adjust. <laughs> so let the forehead open here. Let the jaw release and relax. All you have to do in this moment is breathe. So give this space to yourself. Just you and your breath. Feel the expansion of the rib cage. Connect with that natural rhythm. Inhaling space. Exhaling. Letting go. Become the observer. You notice the mind is taking you out of this room, back to your thinking brain, bring it to your breath, allow it to be your anchor. Complete your next exhale all the way out. And then on the inhale, stretching it to the fullest extent. Taking one more sip of end breath than you thought possible. So right when you get to the very, very top of your inhale, just pull in a little bit more air. And then with patience, slowly exhaling out. Bringing all that oxygen, life energy into the body. And then on your next inhale, stretching the arms overhead and reach down through your toes. Reach really long. Pull the belly in, another big breath. Stretch as long as
long as you can and then slowly draw the knees in and allow them to fall over to the right for a moment. And slowly make your way up to a comfortable seat. Draw the belly in, feel your sits bones, inhale, lift your heart. And bring your palms to your heart center onto the mudra, remembering your intention. Let's own together now, if you want to. Mm -hmm. We'll seal our practice and then own together, full breath in. Oh. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. Three Thank SPs. You. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, lady. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>